friends, it's Marita, and welcome back to Corgi's Wine and Nails. I do have a Corgi, his name is Ryder, and he's running around. He's already making noise in this video because he likes to be part of the show. Uh, we have a glass of wine. Ooh, I cleaned it. Cheers to me then. Cheers to you, actually. Thanks for coming to my video. Okay, today we're gonna do a um, interesting nail look. I'm going to glitter ombre, this really crazy glitter. Um, where did my other swatch go? I had a swatch where I did it with the clear. Um, this is over a pink shimmer and I was not a fan of it. Um, so my one that I did over a clear is way cuter. Um, so we're gonna do clear, but just so you can get the idea, cause who knows where that little tester swatch went. Um, then that's what we're gonna do today. You can tell I'm so prepared for this video, right? Uh, so I'm gonna use this um, double dip color called Magical Charm, and it is magical. It's got like stars and like all kinds of different like jewel tone colors um, and iridescent glitter, and it leans purple, but it has like blue, pink, everything is in there, you know? Um, so I'm really excited to try this. This was the exclusive color this month um, from Double Dip uh, for the month of August, and so um, once it sold out, it was done. So I had to get my order in like fast. And then I'm gonna use their clear. So this should be pretty easy. I already put some clear here. And we're just gonna get started. We're just gonna just jump right into it. Like just right into it. And let me get a cupcake liner for the glitter. We could work out of the jar, but I just love cupcake liners um, in general. I think they're amazing. <laughs> Okay, so that's being a little extreme. Um, so I have my nails prepped. I have Builder Gel from Triple D on here, and then I put um, Peel Base from UNT on top. So that is kind of like my prep routine um, with the Builder Gel. Sometimes I have to fill it a little bit, but for the most part, it's like good once I pop off that I can just start over again. Um, this time I did do kind of a little refresh, but um, just because I was like a little bit due for a refresh. But let me show you what this one finger looks like um, as a start, and then hopefully it doesn't scare you guys off too much that you're like, click out of the video, run away. Okay, so I'm gonna lay just the very tip of my nail because I do want it to be a little bit heavier on the tip. Oh good, I got a star. Um, and then uh, I'm really just gonna make my other finger super messy. I could be using a, um, like a sample baggie if you do any of the buy, sell, trade stuff. Um, but you know what, I'm just gonna live dangerously today and I don't feel like doing that. Okay, so this one's like bent up. So I'm gonna take it off cause like, it's just gonna be bent up and I don't want it to be bent up. If I could get it to turn and flip, that might be the way it's like best for my finger, but now it wants to stick. So, yeah. So I'm kind of gonna do just like a couple of rounds of this on my um, tip of my nail. And this is gonna be a little bit tedious compared to other looks. And then I have a little nail brush here. I'm gonna sprinkle and see if I can catch any of those finer glitters to fill in. If it's not too dry, um, if it is, that's okay. But good, some of those stuck. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be one of those kind of chunky glitters that it's so unique because everything is different shaped. Like literally everything in here is different shaped than um, here. So now I'm gonna do it just kind of like halfway on the nail. And always wipe your brush when you're doing something like this. Okay, now I'm definitely going to do the sprinkle method and see what I can kind of dump up on here and what will stick. I wouldn't really consider this a tutorial. This is just a like, <laughs> watch me figure out how to make this look happen. Um, and I am excited to do this look because my sweet, sweet, sweet friend, her name is Megan. If you know me, he's by Megan. Um, we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do um, Mini Twin Monday. 
and we both got this color from Double Dip and we both were like super excited about it. Um, and so I said to her like, oh, I wish we could do like mini twin or something. And she's like, well, why not? Yeah, we can. And I was like, oh my God, do a mini twin with me. Cause nobody ever wants to mini twin or has ever asked me, I guess. <laughs> So um, I guess I made the first move and I asked somebody, uh, it happened to be Megan, and she said yes. Uh, so, you know, like my you know fear of rejection is like um, at bay right now because I didn't get rejected fully, all right, just kidding. Um, okay, I'm gonna put a star here, so I'm just gonna do a little dab, like a little dab, and then I had to pull out a star. So um, I have like a little silicone tool and I'm gonna see if I can get one picked up. Actually, here, let me scoop one out, like literally with my fingers, catch one. Catching a glitter star. Should be like a song or something. Look how pretty this glitter is. Okay, there's that star right there. This is probably gonna be dry by the time I get this figured out. Um, so I licked the end of my cuticle pusher stick here, um, my little orange wood stick, and so I put a star right there. And I like her there. That's where she belongs. Um, I'm trying to think what else. So that's a pink glitter, that's a blue glitter. That one, who oh, I don't know. It's pink and green, I don't know. They're changing so many colors. I can't figure out, I want it to look kind of like dispersed out, dispersed correctly. I want to uncover maybe some of the stuff on this star. So you can see that it's a star. Yeah, sorry if this is boring as a video. Um, I kind of just, um, as a last minute, it's like maybe I should turn on my camera and see if I can capture this. Um, but we don't know if we're gonna love this look or not. I'm gonna keep trying that. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next finger. Might edit out or fast forward a lot of this because uh, it will be the same thing. Um, I am cutting the whole nail. It's okay if um, if I don't use all of it and it dries up a little bit, like at the top, because we're gonna put clear on anyways, seal everything in later. Okay, I kinda like how that did that, and I got a star. I think the stars are what make it so like magical, so I definitely want the stars to be here. Oh look, there's two stars. I wonder if I can get that star to move over. So I'm literally just scooting stuff around. This is one of those that really take, you know, some time to like place. They're not just gonna magically land on your finger in the most perfect ombre you've ever seen. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. But I think a little, a little effort can make it look pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna leave that little tiny one there. I'm gonna scoot down. Got a little thing stuck. Like that little shred, I wanna move him down. Oh, he came off, okay. Well, fine, don't stay there then. Um, but yeah, I met Megan, uh, oh gosh, it feels like a long time ago, but it was probably only like a year at this point. Um, just in the nail community, and we've been like, you know, super friendly since, and like chat every once in a while. Um, and she is actually I'm so excited for her. She's about to start her own dip powder company. And I cannot wait to get my hands on some of her creations because I've already seen her posting on Instagram. So if you don't already follow Minis by Megan, um, I'll leave her YouTube uh, down in the description box. But um, I'll also leave her uh, dip powder company that's launching. Um, very, very soon, like in, I don't know, like a little over a week, I think. Oh, cheers. <laughs> we'll make that one cheers to Megan because I knocked something on my glass again and made that noise. Um, so yeah, cheers to her for starting her dip powder nail company endeavor. She's gonna do amazing. All of the colors that she's already posting look incredible. And so I'm like, Super, super, super excited to try that out. 
Okay, look, oh, I caught, I caught a little too many on this one. But that's okay, I'm just gonna pat them down. Sorry, I hope that doesn't look like I'm flipping you guys off or something. Sorry, hold on, I didn't realize even how I was holding my hand. Um, yeah, I hope that didn't look weird. Okay, let's do, I feel like that's a lot going on. I feel like I covered up all the stars though. I want a star on there. I feel like I want more stars. I want more star, that one star right there too. Any more stars, all the stars. I feel like the stars are special. Are you guys with me on that? The stars are special. Stars make it like something more memorable than just regular glitters. Okay, look in the stick. Since it's my own finger, I can do that. Nobody can judge. I mean, you could judge, I just won't care. <laughs> Sorry if that sounds rude, that's not rude. I just, it's my own finger. If I wanna lick the stick, it's okay. Um, okay. And then I want to put one more star like there. Is that gonna look like they're all like in the middle though? Hold on, put one like there. There and like there. I don't want it to look like matchy matchy. Like I want it to look like it was randomly just like fell into place like that, but we know better. We know that we had to do a little extra to get this mini to look poppin'. Okay, so that's the first two. Hopefully you can kind of start to get the vision here, right? Um, I probably will speed up the rest of this video because You'll be stuck with me talking, yep, yep, in this whole time, telling you a bunch of nonsense. Um, Cause I really didn't do a lot today. Well, um, me and my son, we went on some adventures outside. It was fun. He's two, so like, those are always like, you know, just like, seeing how excited he gets about like, simple things is the best if you guys are moms out there and you know like that feeling when he's just like so just joyful and you're like oh I love that like it just it's good for the soul to see that I think that's good especially during these coronavirus times it's like good to see just like pure happiness you know and um so he saw in a cabinet I was cleaning out earlier this morning he's so sharp he sees everything it's like ugh, can't hide nothing from this kid um he saw um, bubbles. And so then he kept talking about the bubbles. He wanted the bubbles. And so I was like, okay, fine, we'll go outside and we'll play with the bubbles. Um, and we went outside and we were playing with the bubbles, but it was like a little small one that had a bubble wand on it. And so then he spilled it and um, and the wand wasn't catching the bubbles. And you know, you guys are like, wow, Marina, the most interesting story ever. I know, yeah, bear with me. That's what happens if I don't fast forward. Um, so <laughs> anyways, um, I was looking because I thought we had like a thing of big bubbles at one point and I don't know whatever happened to it. Um, and so I went looking for that and then I found in his bedroom a present that was still in its package from his two year old birthday that we just never like had gotten like out because he's got like a ton of toys to play with and doesn't need everything all at once. And guess what the uh, the toy was, the present was? A bubble machine that does like, I don't know, 4,000 bubbles a minute or something. I don't know what it said on the package. It said something crazy. It was like a gazillion bubbles. And I was like, oh, that's what we need today. Yeah, yeah, let's get out the gazillion bubbles. So let's do it like that. So we did and it was fun and he was just like running in the bubbles he was like trying to like bite the bubbles like acting like he was like gonna eat them and stuff like it was really funny to me i guess probably not to you okay that's my bubble story with my baby and uh like and subscribe <laughs>
Here, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some of the tiny, tiny purple glitter. Just a little tiny there. See if I can get that like fine glitter. Oh shoot, now I got a big old thing on there to catch right there. Um, I don't know. Something's happening. Something happened, I think. Something happened. Okay. So does it look like a um, magical charm yet on my fingers? Is my fingers magical charm yet? <laughs> oh, so um, one thing about uh, Miss Megan, she actually lives near the Double Dip store and I'm insanely jealous, like crazy jealous. Her and my friend Kit Kwong, um, they're all in that DFW area and so they can hit up that store in Garland, Texas is where Double Dip has like a, a storefront. Um, and yeah, so they both went up there together and I was so jealous. There's a like, man faves are up and they get to go to a store of like one of my favorite brands like what yeah i was super jealous but i was glad they got to do that and so hopefully if coronavirus will knock it off i can get to texas to see all my family and friends because i am from texas as well um and i'm actually wearing my texas a and my texas aggie shirt right now you can't see it but representing over here while I'm doing my nails. Okay, that's cute. I kind of like it just like that. I wish I didn't have to add more, um, but I do, I need to put more on to give the look, the full look here. Um, one thing is too, this is gonna make your tips maybe a little thick, so be careful like as you like pick and choose which ones you're gonna keep once they kind of stay on. Cause you don't want to have like a big like block at the end of your nail. So kind of be choosy. It's okay, like sometimes less is more, you know? Sometimes more is more, trust me, I love glitter. I like the chunkies too. They're like my favorite to do. But sometimes you don't want to like overkill where it just looks like it looks like what happened to your finger. <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm such a mess. Okay, um, I think I got a little of the base on my shirt. That's okay. As long as I didn't spill all this dip, oh my gosh, I would've cried if I was doing this video here and then spilled all that. Okay, so I'm just trying to get like some of the little purple ones to fill in. I'm just lightly tapping like this. Do, 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 do. And it's starting to come together. I think it's starting to be a thing, a look, a thing. Megan is gonna be way cuter than mine. I'm gonna be like, what? I'm like, why did I do me each one with her? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but really, not kidding. Hers is gonna be like way good. She has such good uh, um, nails all the time, like really amazingly talented at doing her nails. And she's got fun videos. So I like to watch her videos too. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, see that was a case of like, what the heck? No, too much, like don't do that. That was a no, no, no case, don't. Okay, I'm trying to decide what's gonna stay and what's gonna go, but you could definitely use, um, you know, your toothpick and stuff to be pushing these around. I'm, I don't mind using my finger because I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> so if you get um, a little bit of glitter on your finger, just lightly, lightly rub your um, nail file on it like very lightly and it just like comes off. So it's not a big deal to get glitter on your finger with the, the peel base, or not the peel base, with the um, base, the base. Okay, so this one has like the confetti glitters, the little shards, different shapes, the hexagons, 
the stars, of course. We're actually making progress and and my dog is making a lot of noise drinking water. The louder so he can drink it. Okay, doing this again. You guys might think I'm crazy for doing this, but this is like the lazy girl's way to get the, <laughs> to get the um, chunkies to kind of get on there and then I just move them around. I covered up my star, so we're gonna place some stars. I want some, I want a star for sure on that meal. Um, where do I want the star? How are all these stars going? I'm gonna put the star right, right there. I think that's like the perfect spot for that star. So dab on some dip. Get a little star hanging out on this brush. And get it to fall off. Hopefully I can get two stars to get on here at some point. Um, maybe I'll get one star like over here. Load up this pinky baby with stars. Have all the stars shining. Okay. Um, yes, 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 yes. I think I like that. Should I try to get one more there? It's a lot on a pinky, isn't it? Okay, this one's got a star here and there. Star, 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 star. Um, I should probably get a star over here. Like, I want them to give that haphazard, like, I woke up like this, you know, look. <laughs> but really, you know, like, clearly that's not how it happened. What do we think about any of it? If you're still here, hopefully you still are. Hopefully you still are. I kind of think I need to move that one, like, there. All right, so here's the plan now. Um, I do need a little bit more purple. Um, Glitter, I want it to look like it's like balanced. So I need the finest of the glitter. Move that around. And try to just do like the lettuce top um, to make it look like that side looks good. I don't want it to look like it like went like that. I want it to look like it's dispersed evenly across. Um, try to fill in along my thumb line too, because the way I'm gonna take my picture, I don't want that side to be empty. I'm gonna take my picture like that, you'll see that thumb. So let's try to get some of the fine glitters to fill that in. And some big ones stick, that's fine, just knock them off. Yeah, that's good, that's what I needed. Yeah, so just be very light when you add that like little touch here, let's get along there. Like I'm wiping my brush a lot. I don't know if you can tell. Like I'm like wiping it pretty dry and then just doing like a little touch and wiping it on paper towel. Fill it in. Okay, on this side too. Um, that one I like, and that one, maybe a little on the inside of my pinky. Just to get there at the edge. Let's see if I can get some of the glitter right there. Nice, nice, I like ye. Okay, well then since I did that, I am gonna do this side. Oh my gosh. See, this is where you just like end up taking forever, Miranda. Talking to myself now. Okay, uh, we'll sit here and nitpick. 
if everything's like how I think it should look or I imagined it should look in my head. Sometimes your reality is not your, your expectation is not your reality. So go with the flow if it doesn't work like that, you know. Um, one last thing. Go ahead and try to get some extra of the fine purple in there. All right, so here's what's next. Everything should be on there pretty good. Um, I'm very lightly gonna dust. Try not to get your um, brush if you think it's still wet at the top. Mine's still dry, mine's dry now. Um, but you don't wanna get the glue on your brush, especially not your cute little like unicorn brush, you know? You know, okay, I think I'm in love. I really do think I love this. I think I'm in love, I think I'm in love. And um, look at my clumsiness over here where I sprinkled glitter in my perfectly fine clear, which was new clear. So I'm just gonna take this little spoon, try to scoop that out. You guys are like, Miranda, why do I even watch your videos? You mess stuff up all the time. I'm like, I know, I know, I tell you that. I never make any promises that I'm gonna be good at this. It's always a um, experiment. Maybe, hopefully you guys understand or appreciate, I would hope. <laughs> that I am DIY like you guys, and I'm just trying things out. Seeing how, seeing what fits, seeing what lands, seeing how it works out, you know. Okay, here's our clear. I'm gonna do a nice healthy coat of base. And I'm using all the double dip products today. I'm just gonna kind of lay this down in the corner and make sure I'm not touching the bottom, but that just encapsulated the glitter. And I'm gonna um, pat it down. Seems a little wet still, so I'll pat it down until I can't feel any stickiness. And then it's definitely encapsulated. All right, next finger, I'm just gonna do this to all of them, so I will fast forward this part or skip ahead, you know? Because I think you understand how to do this part. Okay, so I'm gonna brush off the dust. We're done here with that part. I'm gonna kind of scoop my glitter mess out of the way. Okay, dust off really good with a nail brush. Get any excess powder off. I know that looks crazy, you guys. Trust me, I agree.
All right, time for activator. Okay, so I'm gonna buff file and shape. I won't show you that here in this video, but when I come back, um, we're gonna do our, we'll be ready to put on basically our top of the coat and be ready to go um, with our interesting, I know it doesn't look good yet, guys, but bear with me and I'll show you. So I'm applying activator and I'm gonna let that soak in about 60 seconds. But I really love, um, I know you guys were probably doubting what was gonna happen with your, those nails, Marina, because they look crazy. Um, but yep, crazy what some shaping and buffing and filing can do. Just sculpt that nail right back to what you want it to look like. And um, I think this is gonna turn out so, so, so cute. So here I am just applying activator. Okay, and then um, after about 45 seconds, I will wipe off really good with a um, clean paper towel, and then I'll be back to put on that glossy top coat and uh, the really satisfying part. All right, so I have wiped off the activator. I've shaped, I've filed, everything is ready for the glossy top coat. And um, this is my favorite part, so I did, I did want to keep it in the video. Um, I just, I love, this is like the most satisfying part. So I'm gonna do two or three quick strokes. Always wipe my brush before putting it back in the bottle. And it's already starting to pop those glitters, those jewel tone glitters are insane. <laughs> Um, and if I didn't mention it before, um, of course, you know, Megan and I were talking about like how much we like this color and how excited we were to wear it. Um, and I had proposed maybe using that pink um, and it looked awful. And she was like, maybe just clear. So definitely give Megan credit. She was like, maybe just clear. And I was like, you know what? Let's keep it simple. Cause that looks way cuter. I tried it out on a swatch and she was right. She was totally right. I was trying to make it a little, little too much. There is such a thing as too much. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard when you love sparkles to be like, eh, let's rein it in. But this, uh, just doing the clear lets this really insane, gorgeous glitter just show off itself. It's got, it's so unique. Um, I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. So, and it's purple, you guys, like it leans purple. Um, so my eye, I see mostly purple and that's my favorite. But I love all the colors that reflect from it. Okay, so we're ready to go back in with our top coat. The top coat you can do slower and more steady and more detailed. Um, but I've had really great experiences with this step liquid system. They've been easy to use and I haven't had any issues with my brush hardening. Oh, it's so glossy, and their top coat's really glossy. Um, I didn't mention it before, but if you like any of the Double Dip products or just want to check them out, um, or want to see what the, um, you want to grab the next next month's um, exclusive color, because they, once they sell out, like they're done, you know? And so far, this first month has been amazing. Um, then you can use a discount code 
Um, it is an affiliate code, so you know, feel free to use it um, and make a small commission if you'd like to use it, but if you're not into that, that's totally okay as well. That you'll save 25% off of your order at www.doubledipstore.com if you use Miranda25, M-I-R-A-N-D-A-25. And uh, yeah, I'll put that in the description if you want to reference it later. But 25% off your order is a really good deal. And... Uh, you can check them out too. I really love the liquid system. They're really affordable. Um, I've been really impressed, especially for the price and they have a reward system. So when you join them, be sure to sign up for the rewards program as well. Cause they have a really good rewards program. You earn rewards points and then you can make coupons for future orders. I'll make sure I didn't get that like right at the cuticle. But that is Magical Charm, a little ombre with their uh, double dip clear. The clear is super clear um, and the liquids worked amazingly. You can see how glossy this top coat is. Um, I'm gonna hydrate my hands and um, let this dry for probably like two minutes and we're done. So I'll come back and just say bye in just a second. So here is our finished look and I think it turned out fantastic. Um, really impressed with this glitter and it's so fun. Um, clearly it is, um, you know, a little bit of a challenge, I'm not gonna lie, to do a look like this with it. I think doing a full nail would actually be easier. Um, but since I was needing to be really particular with this um, ombre look, you know, it took a little extra time, but uh, definitely worth it. And I hope you all enjoyed watching me figure out how to make my nails look like literally a magical charm party. <laughs> uh, but shout out to Megan from Manny's by Megan. Thank you so much for doing Manny Monday with me and um, helping me to collab on this idea for an ombre clear Manny here. And I um, can't wait to see her nails. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, come hang out. Uh, if you want to try out Double Dip, don't forget, you can save 25% with Miranda25 as a discount code. And um, that's all. I love you guys. Bye.